I'm at Bergstrom Lexus in Appleton. So every uh, mechanic uh, auto reviewer I see on YouTube says uh, I use Lexus. So I had to come see what they have. Lots uh, emptier than you'd think, but not as empty as a uh, Toyota lot. So the uh, price point definitely helps you uh, with selection. I believe this midsection is all there used vehicles because it's uh, not Lexus's. XSI. Uh, let's start over on the side and just run through them since it's kind of all on a straight run. So the, uh, the Lexus grill is definitely noticeable, although I see other manufacturers doing similar things. Uh, 2023, I assume this is used, but some of the other lots I've seen uh, new 2023s. Ah, uh, it's certified used, so that is used. Oh, here's a sticker, used car sticker. 167,000 miles. And $50,000, that seems crazy. But that window sticker does say 167,000 miles. 350 all-wheel drive. Feels like I'm missing something. How's this thing still worth 50 grand? They just said it's 2023, maybe that mileage isn't right. Wow, can't imagine. All right, moving on. Another use Lexus. 25 grand, cheapest so far. It's not a certified use. So they have like a uh, business card on the dash, $50,000. It's up 11,000 miles. A sedan down to 50. Okay, let's see the sticker on this. Gotta see if there's any deals to be had at the Lexus. It looks like 13,000 miles and $50,000. It's $7,000. So, uh, I mean, if you're getting quality, you're uh, definitely paying for it. Maybe not as much as some of the other brands. I mean, Range Rover's not exactly noted for their uh, reliability, and their prices are even higher. Oh, ES350. Yeah, I was thinking this looks a lot like a Camry, but I, that explains it. Well, I think this is the uh, Avalon, if there was still an Avalon. 50,000. It's a nice size sedan. I definitely grew up in the era of the sedan, so I don't mind a sedan. So the RXs, Lexus basically uses letters to say what size they are, numbers to say what engine, although they uh, don't follow that completely. But I mean, compared to some of the other brands, this isn't a bad price point. Especially when you consider it's uh, often rated as the uh, number one most reliable. And you can't get much for under $50,000 anymore, which I know is crazy. Now, Lexus pretty much has everything 25 miles to the gallon. That's not actually horrible. I mean, most of them are in the 20s. RX 350, very modern styling to the back. No bumper, but almost looks like that would, uh, you know, like there's something underneath that and would totally destroy the car if something bumped over the back of it. Oh, where's the uh, backup camera? Must be better hidden. So those other cars, it was in that little fin on top, which must be the uh, cell. Oh, there it is underneath. It's a little lower point to the camera. Most of those other ones had multiple cameras. Oh, assembly point, Ontario, Canada. Well, this has got kind of a high US content compared to what I would have thought. 
I do often see these for sale with uh, 300, 350,000 miles. So I don't know if you put a shopping budget and you can afford over $50,000, you're planning to keep it a very long time. Then that's not a bad option. The thing about oh, many new car buyers though, is you're not planning to keep it for a long time. So the fact that it can get, you know, hundreds of thousands of miles just isn't really a selling factor. Or ESs, don't really have any of the uh, smaller ones. All right, that's kind of a little odd. See, it looks like service over there. There is one NX. Uh, basically, all that's here is the larger ones and some used ones. Uh, we'll review the highway, road construction. Scottsdale's pretty much all road construction. I just want to see what this one is over here. Looks like three cars in the showroom. If you're ever wondering to get where to get a bow that's as big as a car, apparently this is where you go. You buy the uh, car and get him to throw in the bow or at least let you use it. If somebody wants to give me a Lexus, they don't even have to put a bow on it. Front interior. Yeah, this is an RX. Oh, 36 miles to the gallon. This must be a uh, hybrid. $62,000. Great blue. Well, not bright, but I guess dark blue, really but very noticeable blue. Kind of the uh, metallic flecks come out in the sunlight. Not, not a lot to look at, but definitely more than uh, the uh, Toyota dealers, or at least the Toyota dealer in Provo had. We want to stop at the Appleton Toyota dealer see what they have. Number of vehicles in service, which, uh, I mean, why does a Lexus dealer have that many vehicles in service? Unless that's some sort of a uh, rental fleet, because they all look the same. So maybe that's like loaners where the Lexus is getting oil changed since it really shouldn't be breaking down on you. I mean, statistically speaking, the Lexus is gonna be the most reliable car. Although that's a uh, looking back statistic. Hey, there's the cheapest Jeep I've seen. Uh, looking back, so the current models hopefully will be as good. <laughs> this is kind of aggressive looking. Toyota though. Oh, this is an Avalon 2022 Touring. How many miles does this have? 67,000 miles. This looks a lot like the uh, Lexus ES350. The color definitely shows the dust, but that's a sharp car. All right, so you can't spend 50. Here you go, used uh, Avalon with all the bells and whistles. Tint's really dark. Not sure you can see in that window at all. 2022. It's got some miles, but you should be able to put another 200,000 on this thing. And some other used ones. Uh, seeing the used Equinox, I was in a store and I heard a woman talking about uh, that she loves her Equinoxes, but she's never been able to get more than 100,000 miles on one. So, I mean, it's an option, but I guess uh, a one person's opinion of uh, reliability. You know, so this is a newer headlights and it's only 25,000. It's 2023 and it's down to 25,000. Yeah, that's a little more depreciation than I see on uh, a lot of other cars. Well, maybe coming to a non-Chevy lot makes it a little cheaper. All right, that is Lexus of Appleton.